That was before they saw Cassius Clay. Cassius has been saying originally when the fight was signed, he was in Louisville, Kentucky. Archie Moore was at a press conference here in Los Angeles. Cassius was on the phone, an amplified telephone speaker, and uh, Archie uh, made a few flippant cracks to him, and Clay said from Louisville, well, Archie, old man, I was going to let you go eight tonight, uh, the night of our fight, that is, but now I'm going to cut it to four rounds. And repeatedly, uh, during the ensuing weeks, Clay has boasted that Moore would be stopped in four tonight. And actually, Clay has had a pretty good record, too, of predicting. He has predicted knockouts the exact round, exact, in 10 of his 12 knockout fights. Time now for our national anthem. So let's go up to the ring and Jimmy Lennon. From the Los Angeles Sports Arena, Smith Reiner Promotions proudly present the 12-round World's Heavyweight Title Elimination Bout, promoted by the Olympic Boxing Club, Cal Eaton promoter George Parnassus Matchmaker. Tonight, Archie Moore of San Diego, California, meets Cassius Clay of Louisville, Kentucky. So we're all ready for the big one. As Moore and Clay will be coming into the ring momentarily. Archie Moore, weighing 197 and a half tonight, surprised many a local boxing writer, for he had appeared trimmer and fitter than they had seen him in one time. Undeniably, Archie has trained hard and strenuously for this fight. They were expecting him to go maybe even 190 that low, maybe 192. But in coming in at 197 and a half tonight, uh, he shocked a lot of experts. Meanwhile, Clay's weight of 204, while the heaviest of his career, was no surprise at all, for Cassius at 20 is still a growing boy. He's still getting bigger. And I would gather from the booze that Cassius Clay, yes, is coming into the ring. Cash is boasting and his cockiness here, and I'm sure he asked for it for the build up to the fight, and he is just loving these boots. Or that was his plan to get the people interested, to get them curious, to boo him, and come out and see him. Well, his job has been well done tonight, for there are very, very few vacancies right now here in the sports arena in Los Angeles. in a white silk bathrobe, black belt, red trim around the collar and the cuffs, and red boxing gloves. Right now, Archie Moore. theater, but I can see, and you can see right here, who is the sentimental favorite tonight? Archie Moore, the old mongoose of boxing. At least 45 years old his mustache he has the gray around the fringes along his temples dyed a neat black tonight he stands 5'11 Cassius Clay is 6'3 so Moore will not only be giving away seven pounds 197 to 204 but four inches in height and at least 25 years in age highlights tonight will be round number four presuming it goes that far for play is put 
put himself squarely on the spot, and this is not, not a gimmick. He has done it before here. He said he would knock out George Logan in four rounds earlier this year in the sports arena. He did it in four. He said before the fight he would knock out Alejandro Lavarati in five. He knocked out Alejandro Lavarati in five. Cassius says four tonight for Archie Moore. We'll see. Meanwhile, Moore's comment to that is, it is quite true that Moore may fall in four, but if he does, it will only be over the prostrate form of Mr. Clay. Yeah. Up to ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. I ask you to stand, face our American flag, our national anthem. who sang our national anthem comes by his musical talent for he is the uncle of the famous Lennon sisters. So we're just about ready to go here from the modernistic new Los Angeles sports arena. Seating about oh, 16,000 for boxing here at the Los Angeles Hockey Blades of the Western Hockey League perform. The L.A. Basketball Lakers of the National Basketball Association. Big fights held here. The SCUCLA basketball teams play here. And tonight, one of the big ones. Archie Moore has three regulars working with him in his corner tonight. Hiawatha Gray, Dick Sadler, and Richie Fully Love. Meanwhile, Clay will have his head trainer, Angelo Dundee, Norm Lockwood, and Duke Holloway in his corner. Cut man apparently not necessary since uh, neither one of them are known to cut. Well, a good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is ring announcer Jimmy Lennon welcoming you to another great Olympic boxing club promotion presented by Cal Eaton, George Parnassus. Tonight's feature event, 12 rounds of boxing, a world's heavyweight title elimination contest. The next boxing show at the Olympic Auditorium will be on a Saturday night, a nationally televised show, Saturday night, December 1st, featuring the great Irish Billy Collins of Detroit, and he will meet from Reynosa, Tamaulipas, Mexico, sensational, baffling Torres. And on that card, boxing fans will be another two great 10-round main events featuring two undefeated great Mexican boys, introducing at this time, Chewy Pruneda. Chewy Pruneda will meet Jerry Stokes and his stablemate, Apollonio Salinas, will meet Jose Secudo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the ring, undisputedly the greatest of all featherweights, he is the champion of the world, 
A nice hand for Davy Moore. A former great welterweight boxing champion, a popular Los Angeles businessman, Jimmy McLarnin. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be two fine bouts to follow this big main event. And now I present to you at ringside a man who recently proved that he is the undisputed heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Come into the ring, Sonny Liston. Very interesting that Liston should be given such an ovation. No booze that I can hear. This is first real, I believe, public test since winning the heavyweight championship to see how the public would accept him, and they have really accepted him here in Los Angeles tonight. Sonny Liston, a big hand leaving the ring, too. All right, fans, here we go. This is the feature attraction, 12 rounds of boxing presenting heavyweights at the Bella regular time of Jack Smith. Ringside physicians in attendance, Dr. Jack Buseem, Dr. Robert Rock. Judging at ringside, we have George Latka and Lee Grossman. Your main event referee to give instructions following introductions is Tommy Hart. And at your television microphone, our popular ringside commentator, Jim Healy. Here we go, introducing to you, on my left from San Diego, California, wearing black trunks with a gold stripe, the light heavyweight champion of the world tonight as a full-fledged heavyweight at 197 pounds, the ageless wonder of boxing, Archie Moore. <laughs> and boxing fans on my right fighting out of the black corner, wearing white trunks with a black stripe from Louisville, Kentucky. At 204 pounds, the undefeated, loquacious, passious play. Here's your referee for instructions. May the better man win. instructions in the dressing room so I won't belabor the point. All I'm going to say, be sure and give me a nice clean break. You're too large for me to be shoving off. All right, shake hands now. Make a great fight. All set for round number one. Schedule 412. It'll be Cassius Clay in the white trunks. Archie Moore, Clay four inches taller, seven pounds heavier. Clay with that edge and height and reach. over 
Brian Wright grazing play ship. First round, Cash is playing wide and Archie Moore. It is almost contempt play is showing for Moore. He is so nonchalant. Moore, who threw very few punches in that round, spent most of the time blocking plays punches, and he blocked a good deal of them. Uh, let us not presume on scoring for the officials, but for sake of argument, I think we're very safe there in saying Clay won a narrow edge in the first round, and Clay did win the first round. The California scoring system, in that case, we assume Moore was the loser. He gets no points. We assume Clay was the winner. It was a fairly close round. He never really hurt Moore, so he gets one point. Had it been more decisive for Clay, he would have got two points. No points for more. So that's your California scoring system. No points to either fighter if a round is even. No points to the loser. And all the way from one up to five, depending on the decisiveness for the winner of the round. So, for example, presuming there that Clay won it narrowly, you would have Clay in front one to nothing. Round two, scheduled for 12. Cash is Clay and White, Archie Moore. second round. Remember now, Clay has boasted, and he met it. He actually thinks he will knock out more in the fourth round. Five seconds to go in round two. They think Clay is getting tired. I sort of doubt it. Ten 
seconds. Good right hand by Clay. Cassius Clay with Threader Angelo Dundee bending over in front of him. Norm Lockwood in the white shirt now ducking down out of range and Duke Holloway leading through the ropes. Clay showing absolutely no respect or awe for the man who has knocked out more fighters than anyone in history. Archie Moore of his 187 career wins against 25 losses and seven draws. Moore has knocked out 135 men. That is a record. Meanwhile, Clay's percentage is not too bad. 15 fights, all wins. He has knocked out 12 of those 15. Only ones who went the distance against Clay were Tommy Hunsaker, lost the decision in six. Duke Sabadon lost the decision in 10. Alonzo Johnson lost the decision in 10. Everyone else, including five this year, were knocked out. Round number three, Archie Moore in black, Cassius Clay. Clay has been doing all the throwing so far, more, most of the blocking. A few have got in. now Clay has said he will knock out more and four. does not even appear phased by the punches. Notice one thing about Clay. His hands appear so fast, he can throw a punch and miss it and still wave the arm back and block Moore's next punch before it gets in with the same hand he had missed with. And Clay's corner and Cassius holds on. and play very cool waiting for his spot cool for a 20 year old in fact some ringsiders are wondering if play is actually backing off to wait for the fourth round to make his prediction come through seconds to go and Moore is going to last the third round. Archie Moore standing up. Trainer Dick Sadler there with his back to you. Arch puts his glove around Sadler's shoulder. And he was groggy in that round. Referee Tommy Hart comes over. Hiawatha Gray with the spectacles bending through the ropes on the right. Been with Archie for many, many years. So Archie apparently pulling some psychology here. He's going to show the young fella he can still stay on his feet and stay there between rounds. 
But here's the part, and we mentioned it several times before because we thought this would be the dramatic part of the fight. Cassius Clay has said, and he has been right in eight of his ten knockouts before tonight, he would knock out more in the fourth round. This is the fourth round. Clay has said it so often, Moore is quite aware that this is the fourth, too, and he's backing off a bit. He wants that prediction. Archie beat the count. Tommy Hart pushes play off. Two knockdowns in the round. And it's all over. Tommy Hart stops the out. One minute and 30 seconds of the fourth round. Were you laying back a little in the third round, waiting for the fourth? No, I wasn't laying around in the third. Archie Moore is a great fighter. Archie Moore is a great fighter. And he did the best he could, as I have predicted. He must fall in four. Indeed and he if did. you have witnessed this, you see he done fell in four. Now I want Sonny Liston, and he must fall in eight. Cassius Clay, ladies and gentlemen. He had predicted it. And we made a big thing out of this throughout the build-up to the fight. That Cassius was not fooling. For earlier this year in bouts in Los Angeles, he had predicted that George Logan would fall in four. He did fall in four. He predicted this summer that Alejandro Lavaretti would fall in five. And tonight, that Archie Moore would fall in four. Indeed, he did. Right now, we're going to run the knockout. See if we can get cash. We're going to show the last round on national television. We want you to describe it for us, if you would. This is the fourth and final round. Here comes Archie out of the corner. Did you notice he stood between the third and fourth rounds? Well, yes, I did notice that. There's no, uh, there's nothing uh, surprising about it because you got to give it to Archie Moore. A man who stuck with me like that. Uh, four rounds is awful good because there's not too many young fighters today to stay that long with me. Cassius, now watch for it. Would you point out the first punch you really hurt him with here? Well, I, it was a series of left hooks. I really couldn't tell you all I was concentrating on was round four. Because if I should lose, uh, don't back up my prediction, I'll have to leave the country because I talk too much. <laughs> and as you see, Archie Moore's tired. I said this would be my easiest fight. The critics and the uh, Boxing experts called me crazy, but no one knows boxing better than I do. I've had 15 professional fights and predicted 11 of them a knockout. This makes the 12th one, and that's not luck. That's know-how and natural skill. Archie is a great fighter. He's my idol, as a matter of fact, and I told my trainer I hated to fight Archie. Now, that was a 
was the first knockdown. Yes, it was. And I was surprised to see him get up because I was hitting hard and regular. And now I'm ready for Sonny Liston. I'm going to be the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Cassius, that was sort of a glancing blow off the glove, the last knockdown, was it not? No, that was a... You don't... You can't tell because you didn't feel it. But that was... All of those punches were hard. I trained off hard for this fight, and this is my big opportunity. So uh, that's one reason I say I'm the greatest. I don't only... I don't only tell you I'm going to win. I call around. And the sport arenas will sell out tonight, and there's 17, 18,000 people here to bear witness that I've talked the truth. Yes, just thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, indeed, he did. Cassius Clay, and he talked nonstop there for about three minutes after the fight. I think he loves to talk more than he loves to fight. Jim Healy saying good night from the Los Angeles Sports Arena. From the Los Angeles Sports Arena, Smith Reiner Productions have presented the 12 round world's heavyweight title elimination bout promoted by the Olympic Boxing Club. Cal Eaton promoter George Parnassus Matchmaker. This theater telecast has been produced by Paramount Television Productions. Cassius Clay, the winner, a knockout, three knockdown, knockout, one minute, 35 seconds of the fourth round tonight. Jim Healy, good night from Los Angeles, a production of the Paramount Television Productions.